Um, let's move on to the, the second question, which is give us your season prediction. So this is loaded. Yeah. How many games will the Blazers win? Will they make the playoffs? Who will lead the Blazers in scoring, rebounding, and assists? Go. <laughs> All right, well, I, I'm going to pick the Blazers to go 46 and 36. And I know for some Blazers fans that seems insanely optimistic. The over-under <laughs> under, over under was 40 and a half from Vegas before the season started. So if you judge it by that, then I think the Blazers are going to exceed expectations. But I think you have to look back to what they were the last 20 games of right. the regular season. How well, granted, they didn't win a game in that Warriors series, but they competed mm -hmm. with the Warriors. They made the Warriors go out and win a couple they of those. They kept it close with them in comparison to what they what the Warriors did against other teams. Yeah, and game one, you know, came down to the wire in game three when game Yusuf Nurkic came back. The Blazers had that big That was lead a lot of fun to watch. Obviously, they let slip away. So I think you have to look at the team in that respect, and I think saying they can go 10 games over 500 this year, granted, in the Western Conference, which is stacked, I think is a realistic possibility. I think you'll see Golden State obviously be the best team. I think Houston will be two, San Antonio three, Oklahoma City four, Minnesota I think will make that jump to five, mm. and then we'll see the Blazers at six there. It's spitting fire right now. What do you think? <laughs> uh, I don't think Minnesota is going to be five. Okay. Uh, we can talk about that later if we want. Uh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> low key shade. Yeah, it was. Here, I guess. A little shade. Yeah. Um, but, uh, all right, so I have them. Uh, I was doing a little research for this. Last season, there were three teams in the NBA that ranked in the top 10 in offense and defense. Those teams averaged 60 wins last season. The Blazers, wow. during their 20 games last year, you're not going Nurkic. 60, are you? No, 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 okay. no. no. <laughs> I'm not in <insane>. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 60 wins. No, um, so with Nurkic last year, during those 20 games, they were ranked in the top 10 in offense and defense. In the preseason, when Nurkic has played, they ranked 7th in offense, 10th in defense. So I'm not saying they would win 60 games, but I am saying if Nurkic stayed healthy all year, I think they would crack 50 wins. Wow. I genuinely do. I don't think Nurkic is going to stay healthy all year. Like I talked about before, I'm just a little worried that he's going to have – some stretches of games that he's going to miss this season because of injury. So I'm going to say 47 wins. I think that they're going to win 47, be mm -hmm. right around there, like you said, yeah. around the sixth seed. Um, I just think this team has shown a lot uh, last season with Nurkic. They've shown a lot during preseason, and I know preseason is what it is. But it's getting to be a large enough sample size that I think this team built around Dame and CJ and Nurk is a very good team. Dude, you played this up so heavy. I thought wow. I thought I was getting a hot take. Wow. I really did. I didn't expect that was a hot take. When, when, <laughs> when, when he started, I didn't expect only one win more yeah. than what I had said. Oh, that was well done, man. Yeah. You, you built that thing up. But I, I, I'm with you. I had the uh, disclaimer at the beginning of this three-on-three three for mine. You yeah. know, I was saying I'm, I'm a very optimistic person. I, I, I'm going to look at things half full rather than half empty. I was one win below you, and okay. I went with 45. You know, we've wow. kind of talked about that being – being the number. Um, I think that this is a better team. I think that the, they're just in a better position than they were last year when they won 41 games. And so that's really what this is based on. I think that they have the tools. And I just, I, I've said this a few few different times. There, there's going to be some key moments. It's going to be those back-to-backs. Right, yeah. It's going to be inferior opponents. And it's going to be those long road trips, those four or five game road trips where they've got to head somewhere. They can't go one and four on those road right, trips. Right. They've got to win two or three. They have to win those things. You don't have to, you don't have to sweep them but you need to make sure that you're winning the games that you're supposed to win. And that was a lot of problems that they had last year had to do with those games. And despite all those problems we all remember from last year, they still managed to win, you know, 41 games. Yes, yeah, yeah. And so, with that said. And, and with all that said, and Yusuf Nurkic didn't come around until mm -hmm. late February, early mm -hmm. March, really, when mm -hmm. he was having the impact. Mm -hmm. And so if they still got the 41 wins with that, I think for us saying 45 to 47 wins, granted, we spent way too much time around each other. <laughs> right. We all came That's with true. those numbers completely separate. But... I think when you take in 41 last year and add five to the win total this year, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I think that's completely realistic of this team. I think the one argument, though, that you're going to get just for the general NBA fan is going to be that that Western Conference right. is so loaded now. Mm -hmm. So the schedule, in essence, gets a little bit tougher. While some teams did get better, some teams did get worse. Excellent the Clippers point, yeah. got worse. The Utah Jazz got worse this year. I still think the Jazz will probably make the playoffs, mm -hmm. but those teams – got worse. So it's not like in Memphis probably is going to be right. worse this year. Mm -hmm. It's not like every team that, you know, got Jimmy Butler and Carmelo Anthony is going to, not every team did. Other, mm -hmm. you know, Houston got Chris Paul, mm -hmm. but the Clippers also lost Chris Paul. And so there's going to be a couple teams to fall off. 
And I think the Blazers will kind of just stay right where they are. And what you said about them winning the games they, they should win, mm -hmm. that is the key, I think. Mm -hmm. Last season, the Blazers had a losing record against the East. Yeah. They can't do that this year. They've yeah. got to clean up against the East, which is a very weak conference. And, and they just have to win the games they're supposed to. And I think that our predictions will be pretty close to accurate. And honestly, that's a sign of a good team. If you're a good team, you go and win games. Oh, you're yeah, even on win. an off night. Right. Yeah, you go and win those games. And last year, they weren't a very good team, and they struggled to do that. We all expect them to be a good team, so I think we expect that they'll probably fix that. This so with that yeah. said, our numbers all line up with what should be a playoff team. Yeah. Probably somewhere on that high end, though. A, a seven seed, maybe? A yeah. six seed? Well, yeah, the, six seed so. the six seed last year was Oklahoma City, and I believe they went 47 and 35. Right. So right so, in that ballpark. So I think we're all thinking right in there will be, because, yes, the West is going to be really good, but teams are going to beat each other, mm -hmm. too. So it's not like you're going to need 50 wins to be the six seed. In not the every West. team can win 50-plus games. Exactly, because yeah. they're all playing each other. Yeah. So the last part of this question is who will lead the Blazers in scoring, assists, and rebounds. Jared? Uh, I think that it's going to be Dame for both scoring and assists. Mm -hmm. I, I considered putting CJ in as the leading scorer. I, I, I do think that he's going to have an even better season than last year. He's such a good player, mm -hmm. but he doesn't get to the free throw line enough. And to be one of those great scorers like Dame is or other leading scorers in the NBA, you have to be getting to the free throw right. line you seven, need, eight, nine, Yeah, I was going to say nine or ten game. points a game. And he shoots, what, four, threes, four free throws a mm -hmm. game. Yeah. So unless he takes a step in that direction where he's – you know, inviting contact and getting to the free throw line more, I think it's still going to be Dame. And I think Dame's going to average more assists this season. I think he's okay. going to be a better playmaker. And uh, Nurk is going to lead in rebounding. Yeah, I agree. This was an easy question, <laughs> yeah. I think. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree completely. I agree complete with Jared about the assist thing mm -hmm. for Dame. Last year he averaged just a little below six. Mm -hmm. And this year he's talked about doing other things that might not show up, you know, in terms of points to help the Blazers win. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one aspect where he is looking to improve. He's looking to get other guys involved, whether it be Evan Turner or Yusuf Nurkic, yep. Caleb Swanigan, Mo Harkless, whoever it is, I think he's looking to get others more My involved. initial reaction was that, well, maybe Evan Turner takes over this role where he becomes more of a distributor. Hmm. Uh, maybe C.J. McCollum turns out to be this distributor that you know, ups his game in the assist department. But then I thought more and more about it, and I'm like, no, this is Dame's team. He's going right. to want the ball in his hands. Yeah. And maybe he takes, maybe he wants to get his guys more involved, mm -hmm. and then those assists ramp up like you were saying, Nate. So all three of us had the same answer, basically, in terms of rebounds, assists, and It's and hard scoring. to go with any other. Yeah. No, yeah. We know I, what we're getting. I'm glad that wasn't its own question. No, That was just no, like a I bonus like to the if, second one. If Caleb Swanigan started and played more than 30 minutes, I think he could lead the team in rebounding because he's such a great rebounder. But... I don't think he's going to start, no. and I think he'll probably – I don't think he'll play more than 20 minutes a game. So